Andrea Coffey. Can I help you? My name's Eric Ashford. I'm a friend of Mike's. He wouldn't be home by any chance, no? No, not at the moment. Mm. And Sam, come in and get a cup of coffee. I've come a really long way. Well, no offence, Eric, but... Look, I don't know you from Adam, and I just wouldn't feel comfortable letting you in with no one here, so... Well, hold on, no. That's something that might ease your mind. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. No worries, Eric. No, you just you can't be too safe, you know. Tell me about it. No, come on in. It was coffee you wanted, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Uh, no sugar. That'd be amazing. Cheers. So, um, tell me. How long have you and Mike been together? Oh, a few years now. <laughs> he came in for an eye test and it was love at first sight. No pun intended. What about you, Eric? How do you know Mike? We kind of grew up together. He was like a brother to me. We worked in the same job and when he up and vanished, I decided to go looking for him. And I found him, so I said I'd come and see him. <laughs> That's Mike now. So he'd be delighted to see you. I'd say he'd be thrilled. Hey, sweetie. You enjoying your lazy day? Ah! Eric. You shouldn't have come looking for me. You didn't give me much of a choice. They wanted to know where you went. Exactly where it is that you ran after. Uh, guys? <sighs> Mike, did you take the contacts from the right locker or the left locker this morning? Jesus, Andrea, now is not the time. Mike, unless you're planning on doing some home improvements, the only thing you're going to shoot is the wall. Mike, move it right. No, too much right. Mike, Mike, back. Well, okay, now it's right at my head. Mike, le left, left, Mike, left. Let her go. Or I'll blow your fucking brains out. Is this really how you want it to go down, Mike? Huh? Come here, Timmy. Oh, oh you bollocks, you! <laughs> How are you, oh, buddy? Man. Would you actually shot me? Yeah, like, you're you was gonna you fucking you right fucking there, just bad bastard. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Fuck, it's going on. Uh, sorry, love. Come on, here we go. Uh, there you are now. <laughs> Would you stick the kettle on? <laughs> stick the fucking kettle on! Mike, this lunatic just had a knife at my throat! She has no idea, no? Uh, no clue. <laughs> okay, give me one reason why I don't blow your fucking brains out now! Just point that straight at me, man. She is it. Yeah. Uh, you see where you like her? She's a fire starter. <laughs> She's different. Uh, I... Listen. Andrea, um, would you would you stick the kettle on? I've had a I've had a very tough day, and you're you're acting very badly. You've had a tough day. Please. Man, it's so good to see you. No, no, how are the lads? The lads are always up to the same old shit. Except Jim ain't really around anymore. He's more kind of like a uh, spread. Jim stepped on a landmine. Jim. Kaboom. <laughs> and he didn't see it. Go! What an idiot! Jim was always a spastic. And Fitz, how's he? He's got underground North Korean. Are you a Gangnam Style fan, though? Ah, oh, hey there, sweetie. Listen, do, do you think it might be a good idea if you if you maybe went next door and, and you know, watched your little Netflix program? No, oh, leave her stay. Are you sure? Of course. So, uh, tell me, what is it that you do? I'm an optician. Fuck off. I actually have to make an appointment for work. What's your job, Eric? 
Uh, insurance. Insurance. Uh, yeah, no, we we insure things. Uh, <clears throat> listen, my, myself and Eric here might just, you know, have a little talk about old times and our, our mutual oh. hobbies. Well, your mother never approved of your hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, can I call you Andy? <laughs> Quite funny for a woman. Listen, I'm so sorry about earlier on with the whole knife to the neck you thing. You little and... two-bit mustachioed little... Uh, come on, that's oh. now. Come on. That's... But over top. It was. It was uncalled for and it was ill-mannered most of all. I'd like to apologise, Eric. You don't need to apologise for anything. On behalf of both of us, but, but more so for her, I think you're going to have to go. But listen, man, you're more than welcome here any time you want. Better come for coffee with me, though. Know. I'll come back here with a guitar where I'll strangle you in your sleep, right? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Come back and put a car bomb downstairs in my car. <laughs> Except, no, no, Andrea would probably get into it and she... Yeah, she'd die instead of me. <laughs> Mike, now. No, I'll see you soon, man. You know. <laughs> see you soon, yeah? You will. Here. I'm still actually pissed at you, but I think you might be legally blind. And that's not a good thing for... Insurance. Thank you. I appreciate that. My guy. Mike. What the fuck was that about? What? 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 The, the whole fucking thing. Who was that creep? Why do you have a gun? And how are you dumb enough to put my contacts in this morning? I don't know, but I'll tell you, I did think that something was weird when I walked into the ladies' jacks earlier. All right, look, Mike. You have to tell me what's going on. And I will. Okay. Come here. Okay, I have to go. Go, go, go. Where? Go where? It's classified. I'm gonna get my contact lenses mm. first. Mm. Oh, this is so not how I wanted to spend my day. 